Hello. Hey, Michael, how are you? How's everything? Good, good. How about yourself? Doing um, all right? It's been all right. <laughs> nice. How about you? Busy? Busy day so far, yeah. Busy day. I got to I gotta work till 10 o'clock tonight, so I'll be rocking and rolling for a while here. <laughs> <laughs> so is this, a, yeah, is this a new place you just got? Yes. Nice. Um, I bought it about a month and a half ago at this point. Okay, cool. Well, congrats on that. How are you liking it so far? I oh, love it. Um, and thank you. Yeah, yeah. Is this a first-time purchase? What was that? Hmm? Was this a first-time purchase? Yes, first-time purchase of a house. Nice. Uh, oh, my guess. Starting to invest instead of uh, throw rent away, right? <laughs> Absolutely. That's always a good thing. So um, I'm licensed and registered in the state of Connecticut. Uh, when they schedule the appointment, we're supposed to send over a, a text license, you know, and a link to look me up. Were you able to do that? Yep, I was able to. Okay, perfect. So yeah, register in that state. And I specialize in um, mortgage protection, final expense, life insurance, retirement planning. Obviously, we'll focus on the mortgage, pro mortgage protection today. But, you know, if you have any questions about anything else, just let me know. Um, so glad we got that out of the way. Um, so I'll kind of explain a little bit about my job. I've been doing this for about uh, 11 years now, so quite a while. But what I'm called is a medical field underwriter. And so what that means is, you know, I'm not your traditional agent that works for one company and only has a few products. I'm more like a broker. So I have access to 30 A and best, A plus rated companies. And they're the best of the best, you know, like examples like John Hancock, Aetna, Mutual Valma, Transamerica, et cetera. So I'm sure you've heard of some of those, if, if not all of them, correct? Yep, a few of them. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do today is spend about three minutes on some medical questions. And then kind of based on your age, health, and habits, I'm going to shop those 30 A-plus rated carriers. And first, you know, find out what you can qualify for. And then second, what the lowest cost, lowest cost plans are. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Okay. And then after that, I'll give you a few different plans and options that I see most people tend to go with. Um, if we find a plan or when we find a plan that's affordable, you know, covers your protection needs, what we'll do is submit a request for coverage. Okay. Now the insurance company, um, they need to think about it more than you do because they're the ones that take that risk. You know, if you were to die tomorrow, sometimes they'll prove you instantly. You know, sometimes they'll say we have to wait a week and sometimes we'll get declined. Okay. Um, if you get approved, you'll have what's called a 30 day free look. And that gives you basically 30 days to make any changes to the policy. You can raise it, lower it, switch it around. Or if you have a crystal ball and predict the future, you know, don't decide you want, the, you don't want the coverage, you know, insurance company is happy not to cover you. It's not going to affect, you know, obviously the insurance company or us, um, just infects you in case things don't go according to plan. Okay. So does that kind of make sense? Yep, makes all right. sense. All right, in a, in a nutshell, basically, you know, we got to get approved first, and it doesn't make sense to you know think about something if we don't know we can get it yet, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So, um, when you fill out this form, you know, what kind of what made you decide to try to look into it? Um, just kind of seems like a logical idea, uh, as well as this whole fact that you know, it, if it's, um. Just kind of like that little bit of extra protection and everything else like that. I mean, from where I work in, I work in the electrical field, especially heavy industry. Gotcha. So, um, without sounding too morbid, especially on Friday, you know, the chances of me dying are actually a little bit higher than, you know, say somebody who's working behind a desk. I mean, granted, that's just because I work in um, utility. Gotcha. Um, so, I, I mean, there's a million things that could go wrong. It's just, it, it seems like a logical idea. Gotcha. Is it is it those guys that are kind of up on the the high electrical wires and stuff? Um, yeah, basically. Um, I mean, I work with everything from literally forty eight hundred volts to um three hundred and forty five thousand volts. So you know, oh, wow. it's one of those things that you know, you, you, yeah, you can have a lot going on very quickly. Yeah, I know a good buddy of mine, actually my girlfriend's brother, uh, was trying to get into that. I know it pays really well, but you got to work a lot of hours and it's kind of hard to get into it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard. But it's a good career if you can get into it. I heard, it, I heard it's a, a good, solid career for sure. Um, so, Absolutely. So was there, um, was there anyone you were trying to protect, like you'd leave your house to if, if something didn't go according to plan? You know what, most, more likely than not, it would be um, my little sister. Okay, what was her name? 
Kara. Kara, okay. Is that with a C or K? With a C. C, Kara. Nice, okay. And then what do you have in place today that would, you know, pay out to, you know, either Kara or someone else if, if something did happen? Um, what is it? Uh, life insurance policy through the company and everything else like that. Um, okay. So we have a work policy, right? But no private coverage, right? Yep. Okay. And the work policies, you know, great plans. Um, the reason why they're so cheap is they're kind of like a, almost like a, a term policy in a way, or, or like a, a gamble policy, because you have to be working in order for it to be in effect. So, you know, if you got sick or something, or, you know, you weren't at work because you're battling some sort of disease, well, that policy is not in effect, right? So that's kind of the difference between having like private coverage or work plans. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, cool. Well, let's let's kind of get into this real quick, and we'll see if we can find something that works. Um, again, I'll spend about three minutes on this stuff, and we'll get you some options here, okay? Um, on your loan, is it a 30-year? It is a 30-year. Nice, okay. And what'd you get the uh, monthly mortgage payment down to? Um, what is it? I believe right now it is uh, 1420 off the top of my head. 1420 okay. And then what's the house uh, price for? Um, God, what is it? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, I paid, uh, what is it, 260, uh, 260,000 for it, so. Oh, nice. I okay. believe that is like the ballpark. Somewhere in there, okay, cool. Well, the nice thing is, I mean, you already got some equity in it, so if you paid off, you know, sold your house for 260, paid off the 245, you have about 15K left over, right? Exactly. Okay. And then, obviously, you know, why I got a plan in place, I mean, I have mortgage protection, life insurance is, um, you know, it's an investment. You know, if we skip fast, fast forward 15 years, you know, we, let's say we pay this thing down to 150 for easy math. And let's just say the house goes up to 350, which is pretty likely, you know, especially in 15 years. Well, obviously at that point, you know, if I pay my house off, or sell my house for 350, pay off my loan to 150, I'm going to have about 200,000 left over. Is that making sense? Yep. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like asset protection, you know, like we all have car insurance, right? It protects our cars in case it gets stolen or whatever. But the difference is our cars go down in value and, and you know, the house goes up in value. And I don't, unless you're driving a Ferrari, it's probably not going to be worth 200,000 down the road, right? Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So that's kind of what it's about. It's like, you know, hey, let's have something in place here. I want to make sure that you know, if, if for some reason this mortgage payment's not being made, this 1420, you know, the bank can take it back, foreclose on it, and we lose that, that profit we've gained, right? So these are kind of protecting that. Is that making sense? Yep. Okay. And then um, do you plan to pay off the house early at all, put some extra money towards it? Oh, absolutely. Doing that every month. Nice. Okay. Um, Save that back interest, right? Exactly. Nice. Nice. Okay. So we'll get jump into some medical real quick. Uh, what's your height and weight? Um, height is, uh, six feet and weight right now is, uh, I think 220. 220. Okay. Smoker, non-smoker? Uh, non-smoker. Okay. And then what, uh, medications are you currently taking? Yeah. Uh, what is it? I think it's just for an astrocyte. What's it called again? Um, <laughs> uh, what is it? Finasteride. Finasteride? Um, What's that treat? <laughs> trying to keep as much air in my head as possible but you know it's not really working <laughs> no worries finasteride okay so that's the only met prescription that would show up on your report that's it alright okay and how long have you been taking it for um about half a year okay so that's just for uh, hair loss then right yeah no there's nothing it's not treating anything serious I don't have any um debilitating uh conditions or anything else like that like i'm not this it's purely aesthetic well you saw you saw on my id that i'm i'm actually bald so it didn't work out for me so i wish you the best man <laughs> you know? yeah well you know I don't, it's not really working out for me either but believe me i'm gonna be joining you quite soon yeah i eventually had to make that choice i was like all right time to pick it <laughs> but um you know what? It didn't slow me down with the ladies, so there's, there's good news on the horizon. <laughs> uh, beautiful. You know, it was, it was kind of funny, too. Cause I was taking, um, what's that? This, the, what's the main one? Rogaine, yeah. I was putting Rogaine in my, on my head for a while, and I couldn't figure it out. I was having these heart flutters, 
And then, you know, I'd go to the doctor and they're like, hey, everything, you know, I don't know what's, what's causing this. And then they're like, you taking prescriptions? I was like, no, because I didn't think of it as a prescription. But because it absorbs to the skin, I guess that's what was causing my heart flutters. I thought that was kind of wild. Did not realize they would do that. But yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. I mean, so I, and then I read in the bottle, it said side effects that. And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just going to go bald. I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're getting some, some quick ones. You should be noted these, so I'll read them off quick. But any COVID diagnosis in the last year? Um, no, not in the last year. Okay, perfect. Last 10 years, uh, blood pressure, heart attack, stent, congestive heart failure, bypass, pacemaker, regular heartbeat. Nope, none of them. Okay. Any cancer, stroke, oxygen, inhalers for asthma, COPD? Nope, nothing. All right. Diabetes with pills, diabetes, insulin, neuropathy, HIV, AIDS, liver disease, kidney disease? Nope, nothing. All right. Hepatitis C, lupus, depression, bipolar, mental disorders, or PTSD? Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. Any history of uh, taking pain medication for over three months um, for nerve pain or anything like that? No, honestly, nothing. Okay, good. Uh, any felonies or DUIs last 10 years? No, thank God. Otherwise, I would not have my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm glad you don't have one. That's a good thing. Uh, that's what we got Ubers for, right? <laughs> um, Absolutely, buddy. Yeah, surgeries, hospital visits, last 10 years, any major surgeries, hospitalizations? Um... Uh, uh, um, uh, no, that was, um, no, that's longer than 10 years. Um, yeah, sorry, I just thinking about it. I had surgery when I was, uh, younger, but nothing, uh, serious. Okay. Nothing major there. Well, hey, congratulations. You're healthy as a horse. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Making my job easy today. So really, we're just kind of searching to see uh, what's going to come back the lowest. Um, there's really two things that cause our rates to go up. You know, one's our age. Second thing's our health. Um, the good thing is, like, once you're younger, you know, you can lock in that health. And that's kind of the most important one. You know, sometimes I have to tell people, hey, you know, I don't have anything good for you right now because you, you just had your heart attack four years ago. You know, you waited too long. So once you lock it in, though, if your health does change later, um, well, then you locked it in before that happens. So they can't drop you or raise your rate. Um, and also the advantage of this too is, you know, you're young, you lock it in now. Right now we can put care on there, but you can change your beneficiaries at any time. So, you know, you had kids down the road or got married or whatever. You can always change your beneficiaries and lock in the low price now. Is that making sense? Yeah, that's making complete sense. It's kind of like get it while it's on sale, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, perfect. Well, I'm going to give you a couple different options here. Um, we'll kind of see what makes sense. Can you grab a pen and paper and just let me know when you're ready? All right, ready when you are. Perfect. So that's going to be the kind of the first one. It's the most expensive one, but it covers all the bells and whistles, okay? So yep. it's uh, 245000 okay? And yep. it's full coverage, full coverage. So what that means is it pays out any death at all, whether it's a car accident any kind of injury, death, any kind of heart attack, stroke, or even if you're doing anything dangerous like, um, you know, skydiving or something like that. It's going to cover your heart stops ticking, 245000 pays out, tax-free, okay? House paid off, protected. Making sense? Yep. All right, below that, this is a really cool rider that this one includes that a lot of carriers don't, uh, but protects us young guys. Uh, 245000 for critical illness. Critical illness. Okay. Now, critical illness is like heart attack, cancer, stroke, stuff that a work policy won't cover. So if you're, you know, battling cancer or you had a serious stroke, got to learn how to walk again. Obviously, you're not at work anymore, right? So to have access to that two hundred forty-five thousand tax-free is going to protect you, you know, while you're living, right? Making sense? Yeah. All right. Below that, we're going to do two hundred forty-five thousand for chronic illness. Chronic illness, and this is kind of like a long-term care. Uh, chronic illnesses would be like you need help your day living activities. Maybe you got a wheelchair, maybe you had a serious disease, right? Where it's chronic yeah. conditions, um, you'd have access to that two hundred forty-five thousand. Okay, this is going to go for twenty-five years, and then at the end of twenty-five years, they're going to give you a hundred percent of your money back to you. Okay, every single yeah. dime you put into it, they'll give back to you. So. 
if they give your money back to you, how much did you pay for the policy? That is very true. Nothing, right? Yeah. And if, you, if, if, if you get something for nothing, what do we call that? <laughs> oh, a gift. These a, gift um, get, a gift or free, right? One of those two. So this is yeah. kind of, I like to consider it's kind of like a glorified savings account in a way, okay? Now, the reason why people like the... Uh, this plan is one, there's zero risk. You know, either A, you get $245,000 tax free, or B, you had a, you were putting money under the mattress for 20, 25 years, okay? <laughs> you know, your own money. Um, the nice thing about it though is when you get that money back, it's going to be a total of, write this down, 50637 50637 So it's kind of like you're putting it in a piggy bank. You know, every month, 168 bucks. But if something did occur, you get to break that open, and it's worth 245. Okay. Now, if if nothing happened, you take that 50,000, and you can use it to pay off the balance of your house, and cut up cut your loan short by five years, and cut out five years of mortgage payments. Okay. So it's going to save you some interest on the back end too. Is that kind of making sense? Absolutely. Okay. And I'm going to figure out how much we're going to owe in 25 years with a mortgage calculator real quick here. Do you know what your interest rate is? Um, I believe it's a 3.25%. 3.25 enter 30-year table. Okay. So we're looking at right at year, oh, this would be like pretty much perfect. Right at year uh, 2046, which is 25 years down the road, we're going to owe 49797 left on the house and we're going to get back 50,637. So, you know, getting this plan pretty much instead of, you know, putting extra money towards the house, you can put it in a protection plan, protects you and obviously your loved ones. Nothing happens, you get it back and do the same thing. Cut out cut your cut out 5 years of mortgage payments. Is that making sense? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's look at the next plan here. It's going to be just a little bit less coverage, but pretty much the same plan just not covered as much, okay? Yep. All right, so 2,000 riders, it's a demo, and we'll do it for 95,000, okay. All right, on this next one, write down a 245 for an, acci for an accidental death, like a car crash or got shot or choked on food, fell off a cliff, something along those lines, okay? All right, next one down, we're going to do 150000 for like a natural cause death, like a heart attack, cancer, something like that. So natural causes from a disease, COVID, 150000 okay? All right. 150000 for critical and 150000 for chronic. So all we're doing really is just lowering that the natural death, the critical chronic illness riders, so you won't get quite as much tax-free income, but still you know, be enough to make sure you don't lose the house, right? Yep. Okay. Same thing, 25 years, still use it to pay off the house early, 100% cash back, exactly the same as the same plan we just went over. And this one is 114.56 a month. 114.56 a month, okay? 114.56. 114.56, yep. I'm sorry, what was the, what was the uh, first one? Uh, first one is 168.79. 168.79. Right. Okay, so we're going to multiply this 114.56 times 12 times 25 years. We're going to get back about 34,000. Okay. About 34000 So it's not going to pay off the whole house, but, you know, probably cut out at least three years for you. Yep. On that one. Uh, and that's, you know, three years of mortgage payments and interest and stuff. So still saves you some money. Um, so tell me what you like, dislike about them. Let me know, and I can kind of keep designing them until they work for you. But what are you thinking about these say, first two? Um, the first one actually sounds pretty good. Um, do you mind if you could actually just forward that, like, to my email? Yeah, so that's actually what we're going to do today. So like kind of, as I mentioned before, um, you know, we can't really make a decision today because first we don't know if we're going to qualify. But if yep. you were going to qualify, you know, we just kind of pick the one we think that makes the most sense for now. 
And then what we do is we apply for it, see if they'll say yes, and then they shoot you an email over with the whole policy and everything, and that gets you your whole 30 days. Perfect. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And then if you want to make changes to it, we can in that 30 days. Like I said, if you predict the future, you don't want it, you know, they're happy not to cover you, you know? But we got to first see if we can get you approved. <laughs> make it sense? Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Perfect. And then you think, um, I mean, asking that question, do you see kind of the value in this, though? I mean, it's, you know. I mean, the way I'm looking at it is that from uh, from the way that you made it, made it sound, as well as what Eric um, kind of led me to believe as a whole, is just the sole fact that this is giving me a little bit of, like, a safety net in case anything ever does happen to me, which is a very likely scenario. And in case of a likely scenario of me having an issue, so to speak, it gives me and my family options just in case, you know, um, my, it goes to my sister and she needs help. I mean, my sister's currently over in college, um, so it, it would definitely assist her. Yeah, exactly. And the nice thing is, too, I mean, these things are transferable, so they'll transfer from house to house. I mean, it will stay at 245. But, you know, and then also the, the nice thing is you can transfer your beneficiaries, too. So as your as time's changing, you can always adjust who you want it to go to, you know? Exactly, which to me only makes more and more sense. As yeah. Itself. Yeah, and the, the, the big thing, too, I mean, they're, there's, they're harder to get. So, you know, this was kind of the hardest one to get. I like to call it the Ferrari policy. So some people get declined. I don't know why. But we can always try a different route. But it's the only one that uh, includes uh, those living benefits with the return of premium. So, you know, at that point, it's kind of like a no-brainer. All right, cool. So let's see if we can get you approved first, and we'll kind of take it from there. Um, I got your date of birth. That's correct. All right. Perfect. 1991. Okay. And then we got your first name, Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, which is everyone's middle name, <laughs> including mine. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's so common. It's a common name for sure. All right, this is called the CBO 100, which means cash back option, which is pretty cool. All right, we're in Connecticut. Moving along here. And this is going to be basically a two signature process. Uh, the first signature I sent over to you in a second through the email. It's just a DocuSign. It's pretty easy. It's just a let them check your prescriptions, make sure you're not taking anything you didn't tell me. And then next, yep. then I'll ask some medical questions. And the last, the last one just signing, saying you're honest about the medical question. So, and then it'll give us approval, approval or denial in about a minute. Uh, what's your uh, middle initial, Michael? All right, you'd be the owner. Got your address here at 32 APT. So is it kind of like a condo? Yeah. Um, gotcha. Right in the middle of downtown, I'm telling you, best spot you could be. Nice, location's awesome, huh? Uh, you know, it's, it's nice, son. You know, we were talking about Uber and everything else like that. I'm telling you, with bars, you know, 100 feet down the road. Hey, yeah. <laughs> money on that. Yeah, that sounds awesome, too. And even if you, you know, moved out, sounds like a, a good one you could do, like, Airbnb with, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, not for nothing, being in the electrical industry, I'm telling you, if you know anybody who says you know, I'm college, tell them to go into the trades. <laughs> okay. Money, I'm nice. telling you, houses and stuff. Where's your, uh, where's, what's your, um, what was your previous zip code where you used to live? And what's your social? And I'll keep repeating stuff back to you because I've been known to mess it up because I have a little bit of dyslexia. I got zero. Yep. Perfect. All right. We got your cell number on here, two. Yep. And then what's your uh, email address? Um, what state were you born in? Proposed insured U.S. citizen. Yes. Uh, currently employed. And then it's going to have an occupation pull down menu. Your annual salary. Uh, annual salary is, wow, oh, God, um... It could just be an estimate, it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah, no, I was just going to say that I just got a pay raise twice, throwing it off. I believe right now it's sitting at, like, 75000 a year. 75 k perfect. We got your height. We're going to start off with the top coverage, lock in the low price here, 245 Okay. And then uh, if you get approved, um, when would you want your coverage to start? We got two options. So you can either do um, like when it gets approved, you know, that way you have coverage right away, or we can do it, set it up to two weeks out. Um, I would prefer to set it up two weeks out. Okay. 
Um, that. Just so that way I'm like more so aware of it and everything else like that. Okay, cool. Actually, it would fall right on the first, so then every penny would be on the first. That works out pretty well. That's brilliant. All right, calculate that out here. We got 171.04. What did I do wrong here? Oh, shoot. Are you having your birthday? We have to do it before your birthday, otherwise it's going to go up to 171. Because <laughs> you're, 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 you're older, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that's three extra bucks. I mean, you either, A, we can do it the first, and you'll, you know, I mean, you get all that money back, you save more, obviously, down the road, or we can do it on the uh, 26th, and we can save it at 168 And I'll just do the extra $3 at the first of the month. I know it's a little bit of a hassle, but, I mean, if it's all going to come back in the end. Yeah, it's just, it's all based on birthday. Yeah, it's 100% cash back, so, you know, you're saving a little extra, get, get a little extra back. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not satisfied to buy uh, the extra three bucks. <laughs> An extra, extra $3 in the piggy bank, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, perfect. Well, I'm going to send over this email to you, um, the access code to, to get into it. It's the last six of your social, last six of your social. All right, beautiful. And it just, just sent over. Perfect. Um, yep, I just had it popped up. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. And um, it's DocuSign, so it's pretty simple, but let me know if you have any issues, and just let me know when you're done, and I'll hit the next button. Now, here's a question for you, Eric. Has yeah. anybody ever failed to actually um, get this back? No, no. It's 100% cash back, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's built in the contract. Now, one thing that I'll tell you is uh, when I first started doing this about 11 years ago, there were eight companies that offered 100% cash back, now there's only two that offer 100% cash back, and then there's two more that offer 75% cash back. So I think it was something they designed and kind of thought, hey, you know, this is a pretty good idea. But then maybe the companies were realizing they weren't making the money back enough to kind of give that money back versus the risk. So a lot of them kind of started getting rid of it. But the nice thing is once we have it in place, you know, it's a contract legal binding, they can't change it. So I'm not sure how much longer they'll have these return of premiums, but I would take advantage of it you know, while it's available because, you know, hey, it's a free policy. I wish I had that on car insurance or anything else, you know? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so, but that, does that answer your question? Yeah, um, so, uh, I'm a little curious about it. But then again, you know, always, uh, I don't know, yeah. The way the way insurance the way insurance companies make their money and in any insurance company is they they hope nothing bad happens and they take your premiums and they hope to make interest off of it, right? So that's yeah. kind of how they're able to give that return of premium. But it's they're kind of looking at the long-term game, and you're looking at as the short-term game, you know? So, you know, you want to have both, right? So when I do my financial planning appointments, the first thing I do when I sit down with people is go, okay, cool, so we're going to start planning for the future. But, you know, the foundation of any financial plan is to hedge your bets with some sort of insurance in case things don't go according to plan, right? So you kind of want to do both. <laughs> And you're kind of doing that this way. You're hedging your bets, but also taking away that risk factor because it's you get the money back. There's nothing to lose. And most people, you know, you have to be young enough, healthy enough to get it. Most people can't qualify for that. Yeah, um, Eric, I uh, just sent that back to you. And just so you know, you keep calling. You keep calling. Yeah, I got. I, yeah, I got. It came up on the screen, so we're good. Also, my name's Ryan Reynolds, by the way. I don't know where you get Eric from. But I'm Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Uh, last guy here I was just staring at his card which is why it popped up oh gotcha okay I, 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 I literally had the card right next to me gotcha okay yeah I, I don't know if you heard me over the train I just immediately as soon as I said Eric I was like wait a minute no it's Ryan <laughs> you can call me Deadpool man you know like I'm Ryan Reynolds <laughs> I was actually pretty impressed about that I mean to be honest with you it doesn't live too far from me <laughs> All right, so here's some quick medical questions. Uh, this next part, we just have to put a doctor in here. All that sound correct? Sorry. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't really have a primary physician, though. We just got to put, like, uh, someone you've seen in the last 15 years. Um, could be a doctor. Could be an urgent care. You know, you name it. I, I was going to say the last time I went for uh, any medical thing, I think I went to, um, oh, God, what was it? It was, um... Uh, give me one minute. Yeah, I just have to put the the name, the city, state, and phone number, but I can always Google the phone number if you can think of a place you've been. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
trying to remember it off the top of my head. Pardon me, I'm just looking it up now. It was. Do you have the phone number since you got it pulled up? Got that in there. We're good to go. Okay, next. We got COVID questions. All right, beneficiary information. We're gonna put your your sister in here for now. Cara, C A R A. All right. Uh, just need to know the name of the bank that you're gonna to use to pay for the policy on the first, so they can verify that. And did, what state did you open that in? And it just wants me to verify the routing number, and make sure we have it right. Um, I'm pulling up a zero two one. Yep. Uh, is that a checking or savings? Uh, checking. Okay. Now the account number, it's blacked out, so I can't see them typing, but it has to do it, I have to put it in twice, you know, for security. But what's that yep. account number? And then, give me one minute. Okay. All right, Ryan, you there? I'm still here, yep, ready to go when you are. All right, perfect. The account number is one. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, one more time, see if it matches you. Right, account number is All right, perfect and we'll hit next see if it took that all right looks like they registered that saw it was a real account all right i'm gonna put out my producer report real quick give me about a minute and then i'll come back to you all right yeah no take your time thanks take your time um i also don't mean to rush you um do you know how much longer this is gonna take oh just one more minute man we're getting we're almost done here all right beautiful Maybe like three more minutes. I'm almost done with this part. Uh, no. Okay, next. We just got to get you to sign. And then I sign it as the medical field underwriter. And then we hit submit. And it gives me an answer in about a minute. That email just now is sending over to you. So, yeah, just let me know when you're done. And I'll check my email and, and get that signed as quickly as I can. Uh, perfect. We just got this up now. Oh yeah, and while you're doing that too, um, I'm gonna text you my my actual contact. You know, it has like a picture, my emails, my addresses, phone numbers in there. That way you can save it. And then if you need anything at all, just you know, give me a quick call or shoot me a text, and I'm here to help you out. Beautiful. I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually a manager now, and 11 years doing this, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck here till I retire. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm in the same boat. I just got my permanent job, which is already enough. Yeah, right. Well, as long as you're making decent income, and you know, I get at least I get to work in air conditioning. <laughs> you know what? That is a luxury I don't even have. So I'll give you that much. <laughs> All right, this thing just came back here. Let me open it. And sign it real quick and get our answer here. If for some reason this doesn't get approved, um, I write for those 30 carriers. We'll figure out the next best route. Um, if you need to go, we'll reschedule something. But I'm pretty yeah. sure it should get approved. But, you know, it's, again, it's not my decision. <laughs> so what do you got planned for the rest of the day? You know, i got to be honest with you. My buddy just uh, texted me not like, well yeah beer is better than figuring out figuring out mortgage protection <laughs> i'd rather be doing that too i'm right there with you <laughs> yeah as long as you don't take offense to that it's not the personal it's just you know no no no, no worries well it's yeah, processing it's processing right now i mean if, if you have to go right this second i can always screenshot you if you get approved or not or you can wait about a minute here and it will pop up here and tell us. It's yeah, let me give it another minute. I'm still okay. waiting for the pull up anyway. Okay, cool. So we'll kind of wait. Nice, man. So you got your own place. What made you kind of decide to finally purchase one? You know, honestly, uh, as expensive as the market is right now, I mean, you got to, like, with the cost of everything else right now and the um, actual just kind of rates that are going for, it's, it's both the worst and the best time to actually get something because, I mean, first homeowner being locked in at you know 3.25 percent financing is freaking absolutely incredible as far as i'm concerned and i was yeah. very happy about it plus it's one of those things that i found a condo in a good enough location that within you know two three years it's going to be a prime little place to rent out right yeah definitely um so it'll, it'll be a nice little spot for a college kid you know a little professional whatever the hell whoever the hell wants it right good um, investment property 
Exactly. Nice. Or, you know, just kick it to the curb and go find it and start picking <laughs> stuff up. Yeah, or sell it because obviously the value goes up because of the location too. Um, so we did get, we just got an answer here. It says, um, it says sent to underwriting. So they, like I said, sometimes it tells us we got to wait a week. It says base coverage referred to underwriting due to there's at least one medical requirement without sounding status. What that probably means is somehow the system wasn't able to pull some sort of results or something. It kind of happens sometimes if it's too slow. Um, so I'll keep an eye on this thing. Uh, please say my number. So when I reach out to you, know, it's me. And I'll kind of give you a heads up of where we're at, but looks like we're gonna have to wait until next week to get an answer here. Okay. Yeah, my worries, Ryan. It is what it is. All right, buddy. Well, hey, um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you because I'm telling you this is the best plan that that I have. So, uh, from there though, I do have some other ones if for some reason it comes back, but I think it's just a computer problem. So we'll just kind of wait for them to figure it out. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll discuss problems later. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for uh, your time. Listen yeah, you're to welcome, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy your beer, buddy. <laughs> Right, cheers, I'll, I'll have one for you tonight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, buddy. Hey, you take care, man. Nice All right, man. Thanks. Bye.